begs for its life. Because it knows I'm its master. I will finish this. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of the Emperor's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. You glimpse the lifelong destiny promised by your father. Enslave, dominate, ruin. In your father's name, you must seize your rightful claim to the brain. Not destroy it. If you do not, then he will flay and shred your mind. So it cannot even comprehend the horrors he will plague you with. This is the moment, my love. The moment in which we make a new world for ourselves. disappointment before the rush of your tragic fall.
Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated. Along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. We did it. The Netherbrain is dead. And we are cleansed. The tadpoles are still at last. They cannot control us or turn us into abominations. Although in your case, the transformation may be an improvement, Iblis. It makes little difference to me. I did what I had to to secure my freedom. And in spite of your resistance to completing your evolution, you have proved a good ally. I am no more responsible for your actions than you are for mine. Skva, you may have succeeded, but I have failed. Gith's son is dead, and Vlakith has abandoned me. I will be hunted by her Inquisition to the ends of the world. I must leave. I have nothing more to gain by being here. It will be a restless life while the false queen reigns over our people. But a life nonetheless. And a free one. Yes, I will stay. My destiny is for neither Vlakith nor Orpheus to decree. It is mine. We fought well together. I will gladly fight with you again. If not the Astral Seas, then here and wherever else we go. The Githyanki leave at last. I feared they would make this world their own. With your people gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. What shall we do with our liberty? What's the rush? Surely we're due to be fated as heroes in this place. We'll drink for free. If any tavern survived. Then this is where we part ways. I have business to attend to here. And a life to rebuild.
Every geek is an abomination. Maybe you're an exception. Maybe. I will miss you, too. Now that you no longer live in each other's minds, it's hard to tell if the mind flare is being sincere, though perhaps no harder than it ever was. Your thoughts wander from your companions and everything you endured to your own piteous fate. If only you'd defied your father when you had the chance and freed yourself of your dark desires. But it's too late now. Your destiny is set. Your very blood shall clot with the urge, and that hungry desire will consume you. You may have freed the world from the control of the nether brain, but you are not yet free. Your father is angry. What foul punishment awaits you now that you have rejected him? Even now, your desires threaten to consume you. Your only hope is that a prison will be sufficient to contain you while you spend the rest of your life pondering your sins. But it seems your father has other ideas. Blood. 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 It's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Thou remainest in thy chain. Separate from the light of the world, removed from its temptations. Thou feared thou would be a slave to thy desires. Dost thou still fear that which lurks within thee? Hast thy cruel father taken all of thee that thou once was? Amid the ravenings of thy cruel sire, thy soul intact. The realm of men will forget thee, books left bare to be filled with falsehood, myth, and superstition. The tapestry of fate, however, will not forget, nor will I. Rest well, friend. Thou deservest as much. Till next we meet, remember, thou gave all thou wert to save lives, to reclaim the world from a fate most dire. 
Well done. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. To you. Many killing moons have waxed. As each set, more your mind waned. No mortal cell could hold you. The bars broke like bones. You pray with each new heart spillage. You worship with your diseased embrace, siring a mad legion. You scream, for you cannot speak. pulp of your brain, something called you back. Here. What is this place? It was something, once. Bonds, warmth, strength, fear. Love. Now you feel only impatience for these blood sacks to sleep. So you can strike with the death dream. Each time you unhinge your maw, the words of the prophet tumble forth. Not long now, not long. Wait until they are at rest to strike. Baal Stallion. Many of your own Baal spawn have been born to die in this half year. Your new children will become the tyrant's horde. Why do you spare even one thought for your forsaken mate? As soon as it tries to pass through your lips, you feel violently ill. Once you forgot to break the neck you cradled, you will not make the same mistake again. The revelry is falling to a lull. Your witching hour draws close. Faces gods, 
thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more.